paper trading options. What's going on, guys? Welcome on in. So we are finally going to be talking about this. It has been a long-awaited feature that Webull's now added to their mobile app, okay? You can do this on, let's say, an iPad. You can do this on your mobile phone. You can't do it on desktop just yet, but I'd imagine that it is coming very, very soon. So we're going to be talking about how to paper trade options. We already have videos on this channel going over Webull and how to paper trade on the platform, the layouts, all the widgets, all that good stuff. Highly would recommend you go back and check out our Webull playlist where you're going to find all that information. So what I want to do first is I want to go to the menu section of, let's say, my iPad, my tablet, my phone, whatever, on your Webull mobile app. Then there will either be a shortcut option that gives you the paper trade feature, or in my case, on the left-hand side right here, there is a paper trade little section. I'm going to click on that, okay? Now I'm inside my paper trading account. It's fresh. It's got 100K. I'm going to click on the reset, and I'm going to actually change this amount and reset my funds, my initial funds, to 10K just because I want to kind of trade with a more realistic amount, let's say for my, you know, day trade portfolio, right? This kind of makes it more realistic to me. Maybe it's 100K, maybe it's a mil, maybe it's 100 bucks, maybe it's a thousand bucks. It's all up to you, okay? All I want to do here is get comfortable if I haven't traded options on Weeble. The purpose of this is to get comfortable. So, counts blank. It's, you know, pretty bland. It looks, looks, you know, boring, right? I go to quick trade and this is where I can go trade any stocks I want. Let's say I want to trade with Tesla. First option right there. Boom, quick trade Tesla. I can go ahead and just trade shares. Okay, here's the current look at today's chart. Boom, I can zoom in. I can zoom out. All that good stuff. I can go look at my the order books. I can look at level two. I can look at the option chains. All that crazy, awesome, good stuff that you have that we've covered in detail in other videos here already on the channel. But the purpose of today's video is to go over how to paper trade options, okay? So back to that homepage. I am on the, you know, layout, my paper trading platform. I'm going to trade options. So I click on option trade, okay, just like that. Now pick your stocks. Let's say I've been watching and I like, you know, Apple. I want to go trade Apple. So AAPL, I type in that, I click on that, and boom, here we are. Now we're on the option chain, okay? So unfortunately, here's the problem. Unfortunately, on the mobile apps or on your, you know, tablets, whatever, the problem here is that you don't, you're not going to have all the features, you're not going to have the layouts, you're not going to have all the good stuff that you can you know, use on your layouts and see everything kind of all in one place, right? So unfortunately, you kind of have to already have a good feel for what you're looking at, know what you want to trade before, before you go ahead and do it. So in this case, all I have to do is tap on a contract to trade. And if you're not familiar, we have some videos covering options, but a brief kind of intro is that... All I'm going to do here is I, cl I click on the expiration I want. Let's say right now when I'm filming the video, it's the end of June. Let's say I want to go out to, let's say, I don't know, uh, July 15th. And I click on that, but I'm not going to get any information populating. Either that's an error here or right now as we speak, you're not able to go out very, very far into the future. So there are some quirks that are unfortunately a problem right now um, with this platform. But for the most part, you're going to be using this and you're going to be looking about a week or so out. So what I can do is I can go after the first two strikes here. So I have the July 1st strikes. I click on that um, expiration date and I have all these options I can trade or I go to July 8th. I could also trade those, but beyond that July 8th right now, I can't trade them. See how it just says calls, puts when I click on these options. So they're not allowing me to do that, which is unfortunate and okay, whatever. But for the most part, if you want to get familiar with trading options and you want to learn how to day trade them, this is the best use, right? You can trade, you know, essentially this week's and next week's contracts, right? From when I'm filming the video. So it's up to you. And ultimately, right, in this situation, it's slightly unfortunate, but it is what it is. And this is what we have to work with for now. I would imagine that these, all these questions, all these concerns we have will be updated at some point in the future. So let's say I want to go July 1st. It's two days from now. We have the, T, the 2D on the top saying it's two days from the expiration right where we're at right now. Stock price right across the middle. We have ITM um, in the blue shading and the darker and the, I guess, shading is the out of the money options. So top right, bottom left are out of the money. Top left, bottom right are in the money for calls and puts. Puts are on the right-hand side, calls on the left-hand side. As I scroll across, I can see the last price, the ask, the bid, all that good stuff. 
Uh, we have open interest. Always, always, always make sure the open interest is relatively high. You want to see that there's actually people trading these contracts or there's interest in trading these contracts. Um, the higher the open interest, the tighter the spreads, generally speaking. Okay, so Apple's trading right now at 140. Let's say I think Apple's going to go up. Okay, I'm going to go to a call that is, uh, I can go for an in the money. I'll go for the 140 contracts right now on this. I select the 140 contracts. Boom, here we go. Now we have a chart of these contracts for Apple right now. On our screen, we have the bid and the ask. See, there's like a two cent spread or a one cent spread. That's a good sign. Now I go ahead, I'm gonna put in a limit buy for, let's say I wanna buy five contracts of Apple. Again, I have $10,000 in my account. Make sure you understand what you're doing here, how much money's in your portfolio, all that good stuff. I've got 10K in the account. See, now the price is actually moving up. I'm gonna adjust my limit order to 215. And then on the bottom where it says buy, the buy should be in yellow. That means you're in the paper trading account. In the top right, you'll see a PM. We are in paper money, okay? Click on buy. Request is submitted. Give it a second. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to go back to my paper trading main page. And you will see that I currently have a position right now. We have an Apple 140 position. It is now filled. I click into my contracts and it tells me I have an average price in the top right here of 215. We have the 212 by 214 bid and ask. Uh, it has a total cost of 1,075 and it has my total market value. And of course that's fluctuating. It's not perfect. It's not as nice and as clean as let's say the regular platform, obviously. But if you wanna get a feel for things uh, and you want to use this platform and, and learn how paper trading works, learn how options work, it's a great place to start. So now we can trade these option contracts just like this. And what I would recommend is, again, because it's only on the mobile device, you know, tablets or phones, you know, you have the options right here, trade them on your phone and then have your desktop, have your laptop if you have one, right? Have that pulled up, have the charts pulled up, have the stock pulled up that you wanna watch and then pretty much play the chart, play the stock on your, you know, on your main computer and then play the options on your phone or whatever on your paper trading account. I would highly recommend you go about it that way. It's just probably gonna be the easiest way to learn, to get a feel for things uh, and all that good stuff. So right now we're actually down, um, but give it a few minutes. Let's see if this actually holds up. I'm, I'm watching the charts right now and I actually kind of like the setup right now to go long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a second or two here and then I'll probably just take this off and then show you guys how it works. It's pretty straightforward when it comes to selling. I used a limit order um, at this point in the game. You could of course use market orders if you want to. Um, we've covered that in other videos if you wanna go back and check those out. So highly recommend you do so. See now Apple's come back up. These uh, options are actually kind of inching their way back on up which I like to see. Let's just say I wanna go and sell to close, okay? So currently, right, we're in the position. I click on sell to close. Now, again, I can go back to the chart. Here's the current chart of the option contracts. You can kind of see how they've moved over the course of the day. They actually have moved up over 100% from the open, which is kind of cool to see. And let's say I wanna go ahead and I want to sell. As I go ahead and do this, I'm going to adjust my price, my limit price. Again, I have an average at 215. Let's say I wanna adjust up to 220 on these contracts for a limit sell. I'm gonna have, again, limit order is selected here. Okay, I can do a limit or a market. In this case, I want to sell the limit price at, let's just do, if I click on that limit price, it'll give me the mid, bid, mid, or the ask. If I click on the ask, then I can go click on the plus or minus. So it's kind of, a, I guess, a shortcut almost in a sense. So let's say I wanna bring this up to 220. Okay, let's do that. Five contracts, that's the total amount of contracts that I currently have. Uh, time and force is day, which means this will get canceled by the end of the day if it doesn't get filled. I'm gonna click on sell. And now we have a limit order set, essentially set at 220. So that would mean that we make five cents per contract. And if that hits, which we may actually get here in, in a few seconds, if that hits, then I make a few bucks. Let's see if we can get that to hit. Okay, it's taking its sweet time. It doesn't look like it's going to actually happen, at least in the couple minutes that I'm filming the video. So I go back to my account right here. You can see that we're down a couple, about 130 bucks right now. Uh, I go into my position and I can, of course, edit this in a second, but I go to open order. So I have an open sell order set here. I'm going to click onto that open order, click on that guy, and I'm going to edit or actually modify this order. Click on modify at the bottom right. Now I'm going to bring this down to currently where the price is. So it's at around 190. Let's say I wanna sell this at 195 and see if I can get filled for that. I'm gonna click on sell. I'm adjusting my order right now. So the request is submitted, 194, 195. We're gonna see if we get filled here. I'm gonna jump back to my positions. 
open order. See how we have a sell at 195? It currently is still at 195, and I'm gonna see if I refresh. Obviously, I gotta watch the contracts. I can watch Apple, all that stuff, and I can see where it's trading at. Go back to my positions. Let's jump back in. See, the it, we just got filled. It's bid 199, $2 on the ask. We just got filled. Scroll, refresh, open orders, boom. We lost about 90 bucks on the day. See the day's PL right there. And uh, that was essentially the option trade on Apple. Again, going back, I can go back through my orders. Here's all my status. I can see when the orders were put in, how much filled, whatnot, all that good stuff. On the position page, again, if you submit orders and they have not been filled, check your open orders. They should be there and you can adjust and edit them from there. Uh, I can go back to my performance and you can kind of see net account value, how it progresses over time and kind of see how things play out and uh, you know what stocks you, you lost money on, what stocks you made money on, some features that you get on the regular platform for Webull as well. So all of this stuff um, is there for you. Hopefully that was helpful. If you got some value out of this video, consider subscribing to the thumbs up button. Again, I would highly recommend you check out our other videos on Webull. We have tons of videos when it comes to tutorials, options, order types, all that jazz, all that good stuff. Highly recommend. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this will be updated going forward. If we have further updates, we will make more videos. So stay tuned. If you're watching this video after the fact, there's a good chance that we probably have an updated video here on the platform. So check out our Weeble tutorials playlist if you want to make sure you're up to date on that. Thanks so much, guys. We'll leave some links, resources down below, a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal if you're interested. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.